Hey guys, it's me, Tom Flex here, back at you guys with a comic book review. It is currently midnight right now, and now it's Sunday. My family is very much asleep, so I decided that I was going to be doing a comic book review about DC's Kingdom Come storyline. I was going to do a review of The Watchmen, but the recording was so bad, I decided to scrap it and start fresh with a new book. Plus there were so many issues with the recording and the editing process would not work properly because I hadn't updated it and the video ended up being lost forever. But I get to start fresh and finally do something new. So I decided that I was going to make a video. And the reason I'm talking so quietly is because everyone is asleep and I have the sensitivity and the volume turned up so high right now in my video because it is so quiet. I'm gonna make the world's quietest comic book review. And I thought, what better book to review than DC's Kingdom Come made by Mark Wade and Alex Ross. Let's get started. Kingdom Come is essentially a story that takes place long after the Justice League have disbanded. It takes place in a futuristic-esque society. Just and Blabber aside, I have finally been able to put myself together and I'm finally going to be reading this properly. This, this takes place a long time after the Justice League have disbanded and starts off with the death of Wesley Dodds, who was the original Sandman for the Justice Society of America. As he's dead, a priest ends up getting his powers and visions and is being met by the Spectre, also known as Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern, now dead and the Spectre. And he shows him Armageddon and everything that's going to happen. And it shows Superman, Wonder Woman, and a few others being at the center of it. They try to save the world from these new group of heroes who do everything out of glory and self-pleasure instead of actually helping people. They're trying to teach them a lesson and imprison them. In a way, this is like the first draft of an Injustice storyline, except Superman never went rogue. He just went missing for a few years and decided to come back. And he has to fight Batman and a bunch of other people. And eventually they learn that they have to find a common ground and focus on the benefits of the world because they were manipulated by Lex Luthor to fight, kind of like in Batman versus Superman. Planetary security. And Lex Luthor's main weapon against them is Shazam. Using Mr. Mind, one of Shazam's many foes, we finally see Lex Luthor and Mr. Mind cooperate and use Shazam against them. And eventually Billy gets control of his mind back and it ended up killing Shazam after sacrificing himself and the whole town exploded. A bunch of heroes were lost except a few thanks to Fate 5. And Superman went AWOL and almost killed the United Nations until the priest had to step in from these visions and tell him to stop. The priest plays a very important role because he and the Spectre go through time and see all these things and they're trying so hard not to interact with them and try and prevent it from happening. So he only interfered twice. Once was by accident when he fell through to Superman's base and everyone was confused on who he was. And then he, and then the Spectre got him out of there. The second time when, was when Superman almost destroyed the United Nations. And then he ended up living happily ever after because he himself stopped the end of the world, essentially. And later at the end, we get a, a cool epilogue about the relationship between Wonder Woman and Superman and Batman. Superman and Wonder Woman at this point are now in love and are settling down. Batman is still Batman, obviously. That's pretty much the story. Now, art-wise, I love it. It is kind of like, 
it's kind of like something out of a painting and it's very beautiful. The art style is very unique, like Caravaggio or just something very real, you know? And after uh, the, the epilogue, it's 150 pages of behind the scenes where it covers uh, character illustrations, designs, which is pretty awesome and scripts of the first issue and like the timeline of each character that was pretty awesome so full review story 10 out of 10 it was like an early version of the injustice storyline and um it was very unique from a human's perspective one who doesn't really have much superpower he wants to help the world and just just your average kind of guy wanting to help the world and then you have all these super powered beings these gods i'm on earth and they're and they're trying their best to restore humanity art 10 out of 10 coloring 10 out of 10 all in all dc's kingdom come i give a 10 out of 10 i totally recommend you read it and there's so much that is perfect with the story that's amazing shows old members and new members and i love that thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my first world's quietest comic book review and soon i'm gonna try and get another video up and running as fast as i can i apologize if this is not the video i promised but it i'll have to make do Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to have the notification bell so you never miss a video. And subscribe to my friend. Her channel is in the link in the description below. And as always, I'll see you true believers in the next video. Bye-bye.